So I want to take some time to talk about the upcoming Nevada caucus, but before I do that, we have a public service announcement coming directly from the Bernie Sanders campaign. He tweeted, if you vote early, you must select three options on your ballot or your vote will not be counted. If you don't have a second or third choice candidate, select uncommitted as your second and third choices. See sample ballot here. Now, as you can see from the sample ballot, since this is a caucus, you do have the opportunity to rank your second and third choices. I believe you can select more than that. Uh, but this is actually great in practice. However, there is a danger that if you don't rank your choices, then your ballot will not be counted. So please make sure that you follow the instructions. Now back to the Iowa caucus itself. Well, the good news is that Bernie Sanders is absolutely dominating according to polls. He is sitting at 35%. And the only other candidate who reaches viability barely is Elizabeth Warren. Now, mainstream media will spin this and say, well, you know what? 65% of the field doesn't support Bernie Sanders. So actually, he's not in first place. But understand this. Bernie Sanders is poised to do well in Nevada. And if he dominates in Nevada, he can have enough momentum to win South Carolina, which is arguably Joe Biden's firewall. It's a must-win state for Joe Biden. So this is huge. But the bad news is that um, there's a lot of indications that the Nevada caucus will be a disaster just like the Iowa debacle. Now, we don't know for sure yet, although the preliminary rundown from volunteers is that, you know, it's not good. This headline from Politico kind of explains it. Quote, a complete disaster. Fears grow over potential Nevada caucus malfunction. Volunteers complain of poor training for a vote reporting system that was adopted on the fly. So basically, anyone who has been training, who's been a volunteer or a caucus leader, They've seen the tool that they're working with. It's not an app. It's an iPad tool. So not an app, wink, wink. And they're basically saying, this is going to be a complete and utter disaster. Now, I mean, again, we should expect at a bare minimum that these state Democratic parties will be able to count the votes and deliver the results to us. But again, we have this situation where we don't know what to expect. Are we going to get the votes on Saturday? Will we know who won? Will they release the results gradually throughout the week as they did in, you know, after Nevada? We don't know. Anyone associated with the Nevada caucus who's been volunteering is saying this, according to Laura Baron Lopez of Politico. In interviews, three caucus volunteers described serious concerns about rushed preparations for the February 22nd election, including insufficient training for a newly adopted electronic vote tally system and confusing instructions on how to administer the caucuses. There are also unanswered questions about the security of internet connections at some 2,000 precinct sites that will transmit results to a central war room set up by the Nevada Democratic Party. Some volunteers who will help run caucuses at precinct locations said they have not been trained on iPads that the party purchased to enter and transmit vote counts. Party officials scrambled to streamline their vote reporting system, settling on Google Forms accessible through a saved link on the iPads. After scrapping a pair of apps they'd been planning to use until a similar app caused the fiasco in Iowa two weeks ago. The volunteers also said that the party has has not provided sufficient training on how to use the Google form that will compile vote totals, a complicated process in a caucus. One volunteer who has worked on past caucuses in Nevada said the Google form that will be used to input vote totals wasn't even mentioned during a training session for precinct chairs late last week. The iPads weren't discussed until more than halfway through the presentation. The volunteer said when someone asked how early vote totals would be added to the totals compiled live at each precinct, the person leading the training said not to worry because the iPads would do the math for them. Quote, there were old ladies looking at me like, oh, we're going to have iPads, the volunteer told Politico. After sitting through the two-hour training session, the person predicted the caucus would be a, quote, complete disaster. And this is what a volunteer told Politico. Yikes. Big yikes. This is just incredibly worrying. And the volunteers who are, uh, in charge of administering early voting are saying that there's already difficulties getting the app or excuse me the ipad tool to function uh they're having difficulties getting it to uh, connect to the internet it's uh, not functioning properly in some cases i mean early voting if this were going smoothly we would maybe think that there'd be some hope for the actual caucus itself but i mean 
they have the test right now, right? Early voting has started and you see a huge turnout, 18,000 plus people casting uh, their ballots in early voting and they're already reporting that there are some issues. So this is incredibly, incredibly worrying. We don't need another Iowa debacle because if this continues to happen, you are going to depress the Democratic Party base. You're helping Donald Trump and Republicans and there has to be accountability for this, right? Otherwise, we're not going to be assured that this won't happen going forward. And sure, the Iowa Democratic Party leader, Troy Price, resigned. Although, you know, there is a lot that the DNC did that hasn't really been reported. They, according to leaked documents, have been in charge of a lot of aspects that led to the app malfunctioning or the app itself. They didn't test it. There's a lot of blame to go around, but we haven't seen an adequate amount of accountability that tells us that the people who led to the Iowa debacle are out of the picture, right? We haven't seen resignations from anyone at the DNC, so we're expecting disaster. And a site leader in Nevada went on CNN and you could just hear in his voice, he is not confident that this is going to go well. A week out, early voting starts today. Organizers have had a significant amount of time to get ready for the caucuses. Um, how far along in the trading are you, are other volunteers, are you as confident? I'm not quite as confident, but they've been working very hard. And I am personally really encouraging early voting because early voting will minimize many of the risks that we'll be talking about. Uh, they, it is accurate that we're not using an a app per se, but we are using an untested software tool in the caucus room. And I do worry that the caucus process will be confusing and flawed. When you but, say untested, you know, and I apologize if it sounds like I'm cutting you off because we've got a delay, um, but it, when you say untested, how's the training going on this, this uh, new process? We've never, we, we, we have had a lot of training on the broad process. Hmm. We have never seen or handled this tool. Oh, wow. They keep telling us as early as last night that will show it to you when it is ready. So it's not ready so a week what, out. That's what the trainers have said as recently as yesterday. Yeah, not very reassuring. This process, I'm not ready for whatever this process um, delivers. Now, he said later on in that clip that in the event something goes wrong with the iPad, what the Nevada State Democratic Party is telling caucus leaders and site leaders to do is to call them. Just give them a call, except what do they do in that situation if everything goes wrong at once and the phone lines are blocked? That's kind of what happened in Iowa, right? You had caucus leaders on hold for hours, couldn't get through, the phones were blocked. So, I mean, what do you do in that situation? Like, we need to have a backup plan and then a backup plan. For the backup plan, we need plans a, B, C, D, because if something goes wrong, and it probably will, you have to have some sort of fail safe. And the fact that people who are going to be, you know, in charge, the volunteers don't have the confidence tells me that this is going to be a huge debacle. And if it's not an outright disaster, then certainly some precincts are going to suffer. Like you're forcing older people who aren't familiar with iPads and technology in general to use iPads. Like why... I. <laughs> Why are you changing this? Just let them do what they did before. It worked fine or as fine as it possibly could with, you know, a caucus because caucuses just in general are clusterfucks. But why are you changing this? I mean, it's just, it's a debacle. It is a complete debacle. And early voting is the thing that gives me hope. Thankfully, you know, there's a form of ranked choice, but if you don't actually rank choices, you know, two and three, select them. If you don't select uncommitted, then it's not going to count. I mean, what a disaster. What a disaster. You are communicating to people who are on the fence about voting Democrat, like the, the gettable Trump supporters that, look, the Democratic Party, they can't even run an election. So how are we supposed to trust them to run the country? And again, bare minimum. That's all we're asking is for them to do the bare minimum. So I will wait and see. We all should wait and see. But let's just hope that they go above and beyond to make sure that their staffers, their volunteers are trained and they 
not just know what they're doing, but actually feel confident, like they can teach it if they need to. Because this is an election, like this is, this is incredibly serious. People's lives are at stake. People take this seriously, rightfully so. So, I mean, we shouldn't be worried that these caucus leaders don't feel confident and may make a mistake because they're forced to use an app on an iPad or an iPad tool that they don't think is going to work properly or they don't know how to use it. I mean, this, this shouldn't be happening and they shouldn't be trained this closely. You know, the minute that Iowa went wrong, they should have been training them immediately, but they still don't have all the details. They don't necessarily know. Um, they're having issues with the iPads with regard to them functioning improperly and connecting to the internet. Just whatever you do, make it work. Figure it out and get it done. You have a few days, just, just get it done. I mean, we shouldn't have to be worrying about this. Just just get it done. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's not that difficult. Just count the votes, have something in place. If the app doesn't work, and just, just report the votes to us. That's all we're asking. Just be more competent than Iowa. The bar is very low. At least surpass that bar that they set. That low bar. Do that and I'll be happy.